Any moment, the old smokestacks at the Shenango Coke plant works will be imploded. Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Christine Sorensen. The smokestacks have been on Neville Island for decades. Let's get right to John Shumway, who's live there with the latest. John. Yeah, and I believe we're about 30 seconds away from the implosion, so let me get out of the way so you can see what's going on. We'll also be showing you views here from News Chopper 2 as well. They've been uh, working for about two years to clean up this site. Uh, DTE Energy out of Detroit actually owns the site. At least the old sacks where you heard the first blast. I'll just let you watch. And that was it. In fact, both towers and the center building all came down simultaneously. And as you saw with the uh, the main stack in the center, uh, what they did, they blasted it in the middle and at the top as well as at the bottom. So it actually came down almost on top of itself. There was a building in between the two smokestacks that actually uh, they blew up and it went down falling towards the river. And then as you saw, the other smokestack as well. Now, the smoke that we're looking at, the dust we're looking at, this has been a point of concern for residents in the area who were concerned where this might go. But as you can see, we don't have a whole lot of wind here today. So it is pretty much staying in place, drifting just slightly towards the west as it starts to rise and dissipate. We are told by the Allegheny County Health Department that the stacks were checked and were scrubbed. There was no asbestos in any of these buildings. That was a big concern of the people who live just across the river uh, in the uh, Ben Avon area and also Emsworth. But uh, there was no asbestos in any of these buildings and the rest of it was coal dust and obviously the dust that you get when you implode uh, a brick structure like this. Uh, and now as the smoke starts to clear and drifts further off to the west, we can see the rubble that remains from the uh, furthest east uh, tower and it literally came down in just a uh, a crunch of uh, brick. I mean, if, if there are uh, ways to rank an implosion, that one ranks pretty well. I mean, it's not going to take a whole lot of cleanup on that. They'll be able to come in with front end loaders and pick up the debris. Also, they're bringing in, as you can see over on the right hand side, a water truck. Now, this water truck has been working for the past hour or so, spraying everything down, getting it as wet as possible to hold down as much dust as possible once the implosion actually occurred. But Dave, let's look over to the right again at the, the cloud of dust and where it is headed. It is headed straight down the heart of Neville Island, uh, but it's also elevating. As you can see, it's picking up and lifting up as it goes further to the west and over the industrial areas of Neville Island. But again, we don't have any reason to believe there's anything in this dust other than just that. Dust, old coal dust perhaps, and uh, the dust of blowing up old bricks that were, as you mentioned, almost a century old. This implosion seems to have gone about as good as they could have hoped. The folks from DTE Energy and the uh, blasting company, a company Daikon uh, Explosions out of Oklahoma and Demtech out of Butler, which combined to do this work, uh, they're going to come out and talk to us in a little while, but they want to be able to get in. One of the first things they do is make sure all of the uh, explosives went off. The last thing you want are live explosives and people going in there to start working. So they'll check the area, make sure all of the explosives went off, that it was a successful shoot. Once that's done, then they'll assess the way everything fell, the uh, extensiveness of the implosion. Did it do the job they expected it to do? And once they've had a good assessment of that, and they told me that could be 45 minutes to an hour before they know, they're going to come out and talk to us and let us know how things went. But from this vantage point, uh, it's certainly certainly appears that this uh, implosion went about as well as they could have imagined. We'll have a lot more for you coming up on our later newscast at 4, 5, and 6 o'clock. But for now, live on Neville Island, John Shumway, KDK TV News. Yeah,